Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! This ain't nice, I know. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. 
My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Oh, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Ah, oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Hello, sir. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange trinity we make. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Go. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Boating, the stars. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Good Lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with a mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor.
the horses here. Find the rest of the way. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves! Let's get moving, mister! See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. I think there's a path through this cave. I'm sorry, mister. Good. This should save us some time. No harm done. That was my fault. This way. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. Are you sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. I would go now before somebody sees you. You go ahead. I've got... 
This is nasty. This is dirty. Come on, let's get this over with. This will fetch a good price. Quick. 